Hey everyone. In this video, I want to show you some of the new features in Altair Inspire Fluids 2024.1. Now last year, Altair introduced Fluids into Inspire and they're adding functionality every year. And today I want to look at some of the new features, including the addition of rotating parts, some post-processing tools, and then some performance options as well. Okay, so first I want to look at rotating parts. Now I have this cooling fan, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a bounding solid. And this basically limits the fluid to anything within this boundary. Then I need to create an embedded solid, and that will be something inside of my fluid domain, and so I'll choose this tab. And now I can select which part is going to be rotating. I can only select embedded solids, so then once I select the fan, I just need to select the axis and it's going to rotate on and choose the RPMs. And now I can create my fluid domain, and since I've already created the boundary solid, Inspire will automatically recognize that and help me with where the fluid domain is, and I can just hit accept. Then I can add my inlets, and I'm just going to choose these four sections right here. And now I can choose my outlet, which is going to be this face over here on this side of the fluid domain. And that's it. Now I'm ready to run my simulation. Now, as this is running, I just want to point out a few things. One is how incredibly easy Inspire is to use. For beginning users or advanced users, both can use this and get good results out of it. The second thing is I want to show you this plot performance that actually gives me step-by-step -step plot performance as the simulation is running. So then I have an idea of what that's going to look like even before it's complete. So for this one, it took about 16 seconds to solve, which is very fast for a CFD analysis, even a really basic one like this. And then in Inspire, I get the basic post-processing results like animated streams for pressure and velocity and things like that. Now we're on the post-processing side. There are a few new things I wanted to show you here as well. The first thing is this volumetric rendering checkbox option. And this option basically just lets you see the solid and fluid domains together depending on the slider scale setting that you choose. And that can be really useful if you want to see the interior of a 3D model without having to use section cuts. Next, you can see in this dialog that it shows the four inlets, and I can now change the number of streams that are in each section. That can be really useful if I need to get some more detailed stream analysis based on the animation. I can change the animation speed. I can also make the streams either thicker or thinner here in, in this dialog as well. Now, lastly, I mentioned the simulation only took 16 seconds earlier, right? And that's because I had my GPU settings engaged. You can change that setting by going to File, then Preferences, and then finding the Fluid section, and there's a GPU acceleration box. Just make sure that's checked. To learn more, go to www.trueinsight.io.